Three, two, one. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about EPM or equine protozoa myeloencephalitis. So what is EPM? EPM is a disease that's caused by um, one of the two protozoa. I'm not even going to try to pronounce them, but you can see the two here. Um, and the common um, carrier for this is possums. <coughs> you can see here I've got a picture where this horse is kind of leaning and that's like one of the important parts, we'll get to that. Um, so this it happens because the protozoa are able to cross the blood brain barrier and infect the central nervous system. Um, in several, like most cases, the immune system does detect it and then they're killed off and it's not an issue. But in horses with EPM, it's not detected by the immune system. So then as the protozoa reproduce, they break out of the host cell and they spread to other areas of the brain and the spinal column. So you can see here we've got like a couple examples. This is actually the same horse, but you can kind of see like some of the issues. It's um, leaning and its legs on the back side are like splayed. So here's just kind of like a little um, chart for how this goes and there are multiple like intermediate hosts for this protozoa actually and it, like from research I've said like it's pretty much like any animal really can carry it as an intermediate but the definitive host has to be a possum so I know that there are lots of people who are like oh possums aren't bad there's nothing wrong with possums but um, you do have to be really careful with possums if you have horses um, not saying like kill them or anything just make sure your feed's in a good spot and stuff like that because they will get in it and then that's when your horse is at risk for getting it so once um, the horse ingests the sporosis that's when this is an issue so here's some of the symptoms for EPM there's um, ataxia there's stiff and stilted movements which was the example of like that horse that was kind of splayed in the back in coordination and weaklet weakness muscle atrophy, paralysis of the muscles of the eyes, face, and mouth, evident by drooping eyes, difficulty swallowing, um, which that's um, one of the major reasons that causes horses actually to die from this is because they can't eat. <coughs> Seizures, collapse, um, loss of sensation, and then head tilt because of the poor balance. So you guys can probably see, well actually I don't know how, but um, if you look right here, this is the correct, this is like the normal side, which actually it is slightly abnormal. Um, if you don't know horses very well, she's compensating on the side of her hip for the lack of muscle on this side. So um, I know this horse, that's why I know that she's um, compensating. So she is slightly more muscled. She's a, um, a stock pink horse, but she kind of looks like she's got like more of a quarter yeah, horse butt. Now, how long did it take to develop that? It type took, of this happened um, from the original in about, I think, like three to four weeks. Okay. So it was pretty quick. Um, so unfortunately the only like definitive only true way to diagnose is for a necropsy um, the other ways that you can look at it and see like if it is is um, by ruling out other diseases on the right side here I have a list of other diseases that are also like neurological things that it often can show as the same as EPM so we have things like wobblers equine herpes virus Lyme disease West Nile Cushing's and a selenium deficiency, like I said, all these also um, cause neurological problems, which in the beginning can look a lot like EPM. So obviously like horses like Cushing's, once they start getting their really low, uh, like long um, coat, like that's different, but. Um, so the two ways to diagnose this through lab test is a blood serum, a titer test, and then also a CSF, so your cerebrospinal fluid. Um, treating it, which that's actually really fuzzy, sorry guys, um, is extremely expensive. Uh, Marquee is the common, at least for our vet, is like the common one to give. Um, for a month of it, it's about $700, and it depends on your case how long you have to take it. So some horses that you'll need a month, some horses you'll need a couple months. So it's extremely expensive medicine, and then the other um, common one um, actually is just about as expensive. There are, when I researched, a few other drugs that they use, but it's kind of being like fought about whether or not it's like really works that well. So the reason that this is kind of like a uh, close to me thing is this is actually my sister and this is her horse baby. Um, so she actually ended up having false EPM. They, she's had like, she's like a million dollar horse at this point. She's had an eye removal um, from a piece of hay that just got stuck in her eye and it wasn't it's normally it's not a big issue because the vet just takes it out you wash it out with saline it's not that big of a deal 
Well, the vet we went to um, said that it was just scar tissue that was closing up, that nothing was in her eye, even though we could see something sticking out of her eye. And it just got um, worse as the days went by and finally said, never mind, we don't have confidence in this vet. Went to Purdue, Purdue said, yeah, unfortunately at this point, we just have to take it out. This normally would not be a big issue, but it's gone so far. Then she had a rectal prolapse, which um, she's not a broodmare, so that's pretty uncommon. So we had like a $3,000 surgery from that. So the horse, um, which this picture here is actually baby, and this is this <coughs> what confused them because we went to Purdue for this. No, this is baby. Again. This is the same horse. Same yeah. Horse. What confused Purdue is that this is like classic EPM. This loss in one mm -hmm. side is like classic EPM, and it's so expensive to do like the test. They tried doing the CSF, um, but they couldn't get the correct spot, and it's kind of like a little bit risky if you go in multiple times. So the only other thing to do was the titer test, but um, they said that um, most horses in Indiana actually think it was like a 70% chance that they've been exposed to this before, so they're going to have antibodies. And so it was then their recommendation that we just treat her for it with a marquee, which cost us $1,000 for a month and a half. Um, and when that didn't help, we went back and did um, the titer test, and she actually had never once been exposed to it, which is pretty rare. So they did um, some nerve tests on her. She has like complete nerve function. Um, she didn't, most horses with EPM, if you pull on their tail, they'll, um, they'll stagger and they'll kind of fall because they've lost that nerve um, ability and those reflexes. And she passed all of her tests. So at this point, we still really don't know what's wrong with her. Wow. Um, but we just, they actually, Purdue actually has to use her photo in a vet book because like just her butt is like such classic symptom for it. That is a good picture of that. So, yeah. Here is the like um, really bad picture here, which it might be kind of hard to see because you guys haven't been seeing her over time. But you can see there's actually been an improvement over this, and um, the medicine did not help at all. But we've actually been giving vitamin E, which helps with for the nerves, and we saw um, a small regrowth in her muscle. And this is it took I think it's taken like five months to get it like this. So and now it's, it's much cheaper. It's like tw it's like twenty dollars a month versus the thousand, but. It, we just got really unlucky that it wasn't EPM. So, but so it's still not known exactly what's going on. Right, they're pretty stumped because she's passing all of her nerve tests. She doesn't. She she actually, um, we can ride her just fine. We don't do like um, excessive stuff like right. jumping or rodeo or anything like that. Um, but yeah, she everything else functions properly. Just yeah, they're not sure. Now, how old is the horse now? Um, she's only eight, so. And then, how long has she had EPM? Um, she was, I well, she they thought she had EPM um, last year. Okay, so, so just a year. This yeah. Has happened last so year. just a year, and then about I think like three years ago she had the rectal prolapse, and it's been like five I think years since she and had. She's the missing her right eye. Yes, she is. Because I can see the left one there. So <laughs> I'm just curious. If you can see that right there. Oh, I see. Which luckily, because she's a gray horse, right. it like it just. Unless you're like looking for it, uh -huh. it's fine. Like it's not that noticeable. So, so. she's blind on one side because yep. you know horses on the on the side they're really monocular. They only yeah. have really one eye. Which my them. sister did have to do a lot of bonding with her because she actually before the hip thing, this was when she was still in 4-H. Um, she did jumping and she did. Mm -hmm. um, she went to Purdue and like she was going to do the rodeo, so she did like all types of contesting. So there's not really an issue with that as long as your horse trusts you to direct you in the right direction because she's missing that side. So anything close up to here, she can't. She can't yeah, see. you see the problem with horses too. I mean, they can they can see what's called stereo vision when their eyes are both eyes are seeing something. Then they can do depth. But now she yeah. can't do depth. horses have both by and monocular yeah. vision. So. Yeah, in different regions, but she mm -hmm. can't do depth now because she's only got one eye. So yeah. she can't really tell depth. Very well. So, she's a pretty horse. <coughs> yeah, she's a million dollar horse. A million dollars. Now, is this a quarter horse? Um, she's a paint horse, so she's paint horse. Yeah. And paint it refers more to the color than anything, right? Paint is. is yeah. Paint a breed. Pinto is the color. Yeah. Oh, so paint. So the color. what's confusing is that she's like uh, she's a stock paint horse, yeah. so she actually doesn't show it. But if you were to like take off all of her hair you'd be able to see like where she's got um, underneath actually where she's got black and white oh, skin. Okay, 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 so because okay. that horse coat color stuff is kind of confusing unless you really get into it. That's what she's she's kind of confusing because she's one of those. That's a nice picture. She's not crazy comments. Questions, comments on EPM? It's amazing even 
Because I was thinking it was always going to lead sooner or later to death. No, this is not maybe yeah. EPM, but isn't it? I mean, once you get your spinal cord and brain with protozoa. It depends on where, um, so the marquee kills the protozoa. <coughs> And okay. so it depends on when you catch it and where the protozoa has infected the okay. central nervous system. Okay. Because in her condition, if this was EPM, then it would not be fatal because the protozoa is so far back in her um, central nervous system oh, I see. that it's see. not affecting swallowing or breathing oh, okay. or yeah. um, like head tilt or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, amazing. And they ingest it. Yeah. And then blood brain barrier goes <coughs> yeah. yeah. in the central nervous system. Hey, that was great. Other questions, comments? Let's give everybody a round of applause today. That was phenomenal.